Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Lovely to see you all. Yes. I uh, hope you enjoyed our last vlog. Yeah. That was all Kentwell. I know. Wasn't mm. it fabulous? I was lucky. I got to go up the second day and see it all yeah. in action. Yeah. So fascinating. Really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, seeing all those skills. Yeah. And what still amazes me, they make their own gear. Yes. You know, it is. They, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they've yeah. sewn it, they've cut it. And Everything they're wearing, yeah. they do themselves. Apart so, from the odd pair of woolly tights. <laughs> oh yes, that's true, yes. But that was lovely. So I hope you all enjoyed that. So uh, yeah. back to talk more fabric and wool. Yes. Loads to talk about. So Yeah, we have lots of new, mm, new deliveries. fabric in. Well, yeah. it gets a bit busier now in September, doesn't yeah. it? People are shopping more. And people are being indoors more and wanting to be yeah. in. Because it, although it's still quite nice and sunny, it's actually definitely getting chillier. Oh well, yeah, The yeah, evenings indeed. are getting cooler. And the, the time, the light is changing, so it's yeah. still... Now, uh, rather than the sun getting up at four, it's sort of quarter yeah. past six, half past six, where it's making the night. Are <clears> much <throat> drawing in, yes. Yeah, so the clocks quite. will be going mm. fall, so fall back, yeah, soon. So, but, but which is good for us. So, yes. lots of things to go through, in, and we're going to strict on this half hour, definitely. We'll try anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll go fabric, wool, fabric. Yes. So, okay. new collection that I would like to introduce you all to. Some of you uh, are in America or Canada are probably familiar with it. Uh, Robert Kaufman, Essex Linen. Mm. Essex Linen. It's, it's called Essex Linen. It's not 100% linen. Uh, it's 55% linen with 45% cotton. Yeah. 45%, and, so it's kind of a blend. Yeah, and I think there is uh, the, the, the cotton... I don't know much about it. Does the cotton give it extra strength? Or does the cotton stop it from creasing so much? Because people don't oh, yeah. often like working with linen because of yeah. how it creases. Yeah, because we said that in the British so and bead, didn't it? Once they crumpled it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I think the cotton probably helps with that. Yeah. But it's quite it's a well-known brand, Robert Kaufman Essex Linen. A lot of people will use it in patchwork as... A, a, a backing, uh, not as a backing as on the back, but if you're doing like uh, pictures, you know, like. Um, oh, as the main sort of back. And can you remember that it. patchwork you did with yeah. Elizabeth? Yes. Um, and you did the cat. Did you do the pussycat or did you do the fox? Or am <laughs> I thinking of someone different? Someone entirely they'll different. They'll often use. So maybe you've got a cat in the middle that's patchwork, but they'll use S Essex as the background. Yes, yes, exactly and This that. is great for that. So we've got a variety of colours um, and also uh, a, 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 a friend maker in Suffolk. You know how we like to talk about makers yes. in Suffolk? Yes, yep. Um, Mr Pickles on Instagram, we'll link it below. Yes. He makes delightful little toys for, well, not just for children, it could be for everyone. They're called Pickles. And they're, they're different animals. They, there's a human pickle, there's an elephant pickle, there's a monkey pickle. Sounds quite ridiculous when you're calling them a human oh, pickle. Oh, they're so nice. Uh, well, maybe we'll cut away to some pictures as well while we're talking. Um, but he uses Essex uh, to make them as well. Yeah. Um, so we've got... Um, Ooh. Yes, but yeah, that's So he's, that's he's going to use... All so he's using things. some of the fabric as well, which helps me here in the shop. Ah. That's rose, and this one is yeah, peach. That's a nice rose but they are they aren't... I mean, that's not. It's, it's They're all quite pastel, they quite are. muted yeah, shades. Yes, yeah, not. Which is lovely. Because you think peach would be a bit more. Yeah, but this tropical. is definitely like a rose blush. Yes. Where it's just like a touch of. So that. they're really, really nice. So it's. I've been wanting to try Essex linen for a long while, yeah. really. But it costs a fair bit because you have to get them in on, remember what we said before, uh, oh. nine meter bolts. Yeah. So it's a, you know, it's a lot of fabric on there. Uh, yeah. Uh, when you see that, oh, right. God, should, there you yeah, go. It's focusing a lot of fabric, <laughs> so I can't afford that many bolts really. So I thought I'll get a general range, in. but I've been wanting to get in for a long while. So I think I might do some patchwork, um, and then use that as the background. And That's and awesome. and people could make beautiful linen dresses out of that. Yeah, just imagine a nice shift dress out or of nice that. Nice tops and things. Mm. I'm slowly getting there. I'm I've, I'm slowly investigating making my first top. I just have to actually start. Do you remember because I was showing getting the interviews oh, yes. and stuff? Yeah. I just have to actually work up the nerve to do it. I'm like I've I've looked at it and I've investigated and I have to actually do it. Yeah. Oh, you'll be well. So that means by it. the time I do that, I might actually be able to make my own linen top at some point. If you have used Essex linen, uh, give us a comment below and let us know what you think of it. Um, yeah. And, and if you have pictures of things you've made, that'd oh, be yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? Mm. Uh, 
Because it might be one of those things, do I develop the line, get all the colours? There, boy, there are loads of colours. Oh, were there? Mm. And you can get different effects. You can get Essex linen, is it metallic? No, or Essex linen yarn dyed. So if you've got any experience of that, um, yeah, drop us a comment below. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So that's uh, Essex linen, Robert Kaufman. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that because I haven't worked with it either. So. Mm. So maybe That'd we'll nice. have to develop our dressmaking skills. Ooh. It's about time. I've been talking about it for long enough. Yes, well, perhaps we will. Come yes. on. We can do it. Um, what else? You've got other, some other fabulous ones. We have, yes. I've been waiting for this range for a long while. Uh, this is called Safari Life. It's focusing um, on my face. We'll do close-ups. By, uh, I, well, I can't even say that, but uh, Stacy. Uh, I can't say the surname. I'm not very good, and I'll only make a Wally of yes. myself. Yes, no, yes. I'm just making it up. Uh, but that's fab. <laughs> but it's, I saw it, remember, with Moda or with most fabric companies, the reps will come through six months in yeah. advance. So I chose this February um, and fell in love with it. Children's fabric does well at the shop. We have a lot of people who will be making baby quilts for new grandchildren or even children, their own children. So, but I decided to do something different. So Does rather than getting the whole collection, so Anya's looking through the charm pack now, Sorry, and you can see entirely distracted. You can see the whole collection there. There's a lovely uh, range of colours from yeah. that nice mint to your warm to your dark. Um, I love it. But so rather than getting the whole range in, which I just can't afford uh, and probably wouldn't sell it all anyway, we yeah. decided to go for the charm packs. So the five-inch squares. Uh, and these are the things that you can get to make baby blankets. And, that, and that's what I did this morning. Mm. Look, Ting was in this morning and we were having a little quilt off. Hello Ting, hope you're enjoying um, watching your show. Oh yes, yeah, we've we just left him. Um, uh, and he, we said, right, come on, and Mark's get set go, because uh, he's making this for uh, a friend who has just had a baby. Oh, um, and it's the classic five inch square, one, two, three, four, five squares across and then seven down and it was a great way of showing all the colorways so you can see the different colorways there i'll take my head yeah. out so you can see uh the cream the golden yellow bronze Orange. tan lift 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 sort of mint gray and charcoal Ooh. and how good does that look they are fabulous I love it. I love the mint. I'm a fan of mint and it's nice with that sort of taupey mm. grey next to it. And then what we'll do, so we'll then have, you keep holding that up one. Yeah? We'll then have, I've bought a bolt for the border. What a delightful uh, border that yeah. is. I love that mustard. Yeah. It's a lovely yellow. You know, that really encapsulates that safari feel with all the animals on and then some, you know, it's just... Oh, oh it's mm. fabulous. And then this one may be for the backing. And that's all you need for a quilt. Yep. Look at that, to have that on the back. Oh, yes. So this bit on the front. Of you the know, the actual safari. And that's what people will need. If they want to make the quilt, they've got the charm pack to do the front, the border, and the backing. Isn't that lovely? And we've this. had something jungly before. And oh, yes disappeared yeah i was delighted i managed to get a few oh yes you got of... your mint that was the mint and gray yes trekking trekking by michael miller that was good wasn't it I, that's my my, my yeah. knitting bag that lives at home and i also managed to get some of the elephant um was it that's elephants? right yeah, yeah, yeah i managed to get some of those because i thought it'd be nice for sleeves for things and whatever um so that does that doesn't when you look at it from a shop point of view it doesn't take up much room on the shelf you've got your border your backing and then your the charm pack packs. to make the the quilt cover perfect so a lovely little collection yeah and as i said i've been waiting for that for ages um and it's moda so it's not too expensive no nope. you could buy the charm pack for 12 quid i know sometimes you could buy them for a tenner on amazon but i can't compete with that yeah and then for uh, 14 or 15 pound a meter for, and to be for, fair with Amazon, by the time you pay for your postage and packaging. Ah, uh, that's right. Yes, you're then sort of spanked that way, aren't yeah. you? But there's the quality. Now, sometimes Moda is a bit iffy, but you know, I can't get over how soft that is. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? I love, I love, I'm a fan of mustard anyway, but this is just beautiful. Yeah. So really, really pleased with that. So, so we should be. and you know, you know, I was saying before, I wasn't too sure about fabric at the shop here, yeah. fabric sales and, and how I was sort of feeling about it. Yes. What have I sold all this week? Seriously? Fabric. Non-stop fabric. <laughs> one lady came in on Tuesday, £100 of fabric in one sitting. Go I was like, on. 
So, it's, yeah, so I can't, I can't get rid of it. But yeah. uh, but when you get fabric ranges like that, you kind of then go, oh, I love fabric. Yeah. And with those, that linen as well. Yes. Really and it might open up a whole new sort of customer base. Yeah. Open you up to dressmakers. Yes. And maybe, and uh, you know, you, you'll tell us what you can do with the Essex linen and expand my horizons with that. Yeah. Because remember, I've only been doing this, well, I've only been doing this, this is now my fourth year. Um, yeah, I I, fourth year. You've not done much I've done, dress. I haven't done dressmaking in years, in absolute years. So it's nice to gradually yeah. be coming back into it. So the more slowly, we slowly. get, what, yeah, learn no, about it. Exactly. The more. The better. Uh, yeah. Because mm. you know what it's like, you go into a shop and if there is something made up, and you see it, you do tend to then fall in love with it and go, I want to make Ooh, that. Yeah, yeah. And then you buy the stuff. Exactly. And that. I know I've always said I've not been very good at that. So maybe with the Essex linen, maybe some of you lot can say, well, yeah, you or can make, make a dress a or make or... make a, a bag. Yeah. I don't know what you can make. So yeah, we'd love love your input. Fisherman's there. top. You know those? <gasps> Oh my word! There's what well, there's like a cool an art an artist smock. Yeah. Is it? Oh no, it is a fisherman, isn't it? That sort of cut. Yeah, where you've got your nice boat neck and <gasps> or a square or you know, like love. a square neck. Mm. And you, you generally have the wider sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Just reminds me of my art teacher. He would wear something like that. Yeah. Mm. I had a friend who lived in them. They were awesome. So that's some fabric. Yes. What are you doing there? Oh yes. Yeah, oh, so I've been funny getting Funny story. All... <laughs> what about the? About my blanket. Oh, so tell yes, tell us the story. Yes, so funny story. So I started this blanket, which I thought was only a few months ago mm -hmm. since I last picked it up. And you can see it's pretty wide. So you've got from here all the way across. Pretty wide. And this is Katia Merino, mm -hmm. which is a sort of safe bet in regards to, you know, it's always, it's always around. It is, yes, it's our double knit that we always stock. Yeah. Yeah. So I started this and I thought, oh, I'm running out of my yarn. I must come in to get this biscuity colour, which is... The mix, mm. cut, you know, it's, mm. it's the, I must go and get another one, I've just run out. And so she was like, God, I don't have any of that in stock. Thought, okay, no. what about the other colours? So we checked on record and it turns out, this was one of the first things I started when I came here. Yeah. And it turned out that was two years ago. So, yeah, it turned out. I, How there was, could time go that quick? I know, it was ridiculous. But I've obviously, I've done other projects in the meantime, like the jumper and yeah. hats and yeah. multiple shawls and sewn things, whatever else. Yeah, it's been two years since I picked this blanket up. So I what know. we're going to do instead, so I'm going to finish up the yarn I have. So that's why we've got a bit of green, we've got a bit of red that I had, and I'm going to do a bit of this plum. And then we're going to shift the colour slightly. So we're going to actually, shall I quickly grab the sheets? Yeah, because what, 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 I mean, normally I would have that yarn. And when Anya said, oh, you're going to have this yarn on. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, not realizing that it wasn't going to be for another two years that she wanted the colours. Um, but what Katty have done, obviously and understandably so, times change and colours change. So they have discontinued the aubergine. But there is a new sort of purpley colour out. The green they have yeah. dis discontinued, and there's a new green. Uh, that's the new. So this is the new aubergine. The new which aubergine is actually... colour. Oh, I can't remember what they've actually called it. No, I don't know. Um, but so we're basically, so I'm shifting them. you can see how them. it's shifted from dark. I don't think this is the taupe that I had. I think we've already no, that's put the new away. taupe, yeah. So we're basically, yeah. we're going to shift them. I'm just. Yeah, it's that. like you'd be on the colour wheel. You've just brightened it a tad. Yeah, and what it'll actually turn out, hopefully, I was just laughing. It's like, well, it's like an autumn winter because <laughs> we're bringing in this nice orange. Mm. And they're well, and you love Halloween as well. Yeah. That's you know that's beautifully. So these are the colours I'm going to be working with. But it's just so funny where it's like I know oh, two years. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I've still got that wall. Yeah, not a problem. And then we looked on the computer because I was like, it's only been six months. Surely you'd still have it. Yeah. No, no, two years. Because I know I've known you for that long, but I didn't realise it hadn't. No, I hadn't I got round to it in that amount of time. And that's what scares me about time. You know, when I'm saying now starting year four, you think, my word, yes, that Where's was one of the first things you'd started. Yeah, and it is it is a beast of a project, but it's so funny. I'm ploughing through it now because, funnily enough, I've been doing lots of other crochet things and I'm whizzing through. Yes, you finished your shawl. So, yeah, I've yeah. finished multiple shawls. Mm. I must actually. The virus shawl, on. which we, I know, it's been done to death across the whole of the internet, but we love it because it is so easy. You know, it's like a four, I think a four or five row pan repeat. Yeah. Um, so this is the one I was so, working on. So uh, Jen last. has knocked out loads, haven't you? Uh, Jen, I think you've done two or three, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. And this um, is the other. Yeah. This is the one I was working on in the last video of sitting crochet. Yeah. 
Love it. Which really turned nice. out rather nice. Really nice. An absolutely gift. But so. sometimes it's nice to have a project that it is. you can go through quick to get that. That sense, yeah, that sense of accomplishment and yeah, achievement yeah, yeah. that you've done the thing. So it's yeah. quite nice. But yeah, so that's what's going on there. But I thought it was a funny story where I we know. both were like, two years, you say, really? Oh but speaking of yarn. Yes. There was a reason for that and new colours coming in. Yes. Look, I, these are lovely. What are these? So tell me, tell me, tell so me. So this is the West Yorkshire Spinners Retreat yarn. It's a chunky yarn. They introduced it last year. It's a roving yarn. So it's really, uh, if you don't know about roving, it's it's hardly spun. If you were, uh, some yarns are made up of two or three plies that are twisted together. Yeah. Whereas this is just one complete ply. So oh, when, really? you, when you try to untwist it, so try and untwist, it is back to the fleece. So you know what you were doing a couple of weeks ago at Kentwell? Oh, I um, see. So it, when you untwist roving, it is literally the fleece. Yeah. <gasps> so it's, wow. uh, and that's not everyone's cup of tea, roving. It's so soft. Um, and I think there is a certain customer base who will go for roving. Some won't understand fully what it is. But um, uh, so they released it last year and it did very well so well that they've now introduced four new colours for this season. <gasps> so we have a blue denim, uh, a beautiful teal, yeah you kind of call that teal, Yes, that is uh, then a uh, Bordeaux red wine and then the black. Run out of hands. <laughs> now black's quite interesting because I very rarely sell black, no one ever asks for black but at times you do need it yeah. I think in a project. Yeah. Um, so those colours are great, well with the other very ones. classy colours. Um, they are fab. I think and that are... one, well I think they'll all do really well. Yeah, but as you say it's nice, see when you have that contrast between the black and the teal yeah. or the black and the red, yeah. you could do a nice stripy jumper. Yeah, and what's good about West Yorkshire Spinners is they give a recommended retail price and we tend to stick to it as well. Uh, so you'll find probably this, the same price at our store as you would in most stores across the oh, UK. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Um, they do try to keep to it, but partly because they'll sell it for that on their own website, West Yorkshire Spinners. So everyone does uh, yeah, sort of keep, keep within the same. So they're 100 gram balls. 100 gram balls. And it is lovely yarn, but as I say, it's roving, so it might not be everyone's cup of tea. Comes with a free pattern, Ooh. which uh, I think you've got there. Uh, oh, and yes. um, I think it's a hat. A hat and some, not mesh, it's a hat, uh, what do you call that? Not a cowl. The thing that goes all the way around your neck. Uh, I thought it was a cowl. Is it a cowl? Oh, yeah. it is a cowl. Yes, yeah, we had the debate last time about a snood, didn't we? Yes, oh Snood yeah. is the one that, yeah. <laughs> So it's got a hat, a yeah. coil and wrist warmers. Yeah. I'd love to make some wrist Free warmers. Free pattern, so if you buy the yarn. But it's a good example, we'll show you a close up of that, of the yeah. black being used. Are you are you fans of black? Let us know if you are fans of black. Well I like in this uh, they've in the used yarn. some they've used three different colours. Mm. So you've got your red, your black and a different yeah. colour there. It's really like nice, white. and it's what it's nice about of the West Yorkshire Spinners is British. Yeah. Um, so we, I, I do like them, um, mm. obviously because the, yeah, being local, uh, it's easier to to get, you know, than trawling it in from Europe somewhere. So yeah, I'm just looking. You don't even need very much. So you need one ball of three different. You know, you need yeah. three balls basically to achieve the coil or the hat or the wrist warmer. The the branding of it is lovely. Being called Retreat. Um, Oh, we'll do proper close-ups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're all called. It's about uh, your well-being uh, and how yeah. knitting can, uh, you know, it's good for the mind and the soul. So they've all got names appropriate oh, to that. Yes, because it says this in the back. Retreat was developed with well-being in mind. The yarn it has a silky smooth finish, which glides easily off the needle, helping our knitters unwind in a stress-free oasis. Mm, and nice. they make a donation to Mind for every ball of Retreat yarn sold. So I didn't know that. Yeah. So you're also helping to support oh. this wonderful charity. So mind.org.uk oh, well, is all about I, yeah, mental health. I do like if you're them. in the UK, that's we've what always, that is. We've always yeah. talked about mental health here. Yeah. The importance. So that's really good, actually. So that's probably why they have a particular price. So that way yes, everybody yeah. sticks to it and it's always being donated. What one's that one called? This is called Ponder, the teal Ponder. one. It's Ponder, beautiful. Joy, 
Interesting, reflect. the black is called reflect. Mm. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, because, you know, of a night time, you say yeah. and reflect. And then you've got a door, which is the... I just realised... My new hair. hair. Turn around. Look at that. Matchy, matchy. I do love my purple and teals. Fabulous, your hair. I even curled it. I attempted yeah. to curl it. I washed my hair today. That didn't work. I mean, there are some <laughs> stunning colours in there. The blues, the, the sea yeah. greens. All of them. I'm part mermaid. You're part mermaid, yeah. <laughs> I don't know which part yet, but you know. But they're beautiful. So a lovely range. So four That's new really colours. 100%. Well, it's uh, what I like about this. It's uh, Blue Face Leicester stroke... Kerry, Kerry Hill. Hill. Yeah, so this one's 100% Kerry Hill. So they've Hill. called it Blueface Kerry Hill. So they've ah, combined the two. I was yeah. wondering about that. Mm. And it also, I did laugh when I picked that up and I was like, Blueface. So I was like, yeah, that is a kind of a blue. <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, sometimes. I thought you'd have learned by now. I know. The sheep names. But not many people know about the Kerry Hill. I'd never heard of the Kerry Hill. Nope. Um, uh, but I think combining it with the Blueface Lester has made it uh, softer. Mm, it's wonderfully soft. It has got a wee bit of texture to it, mm. though, where it's not just silky but you smooth. Got the, but you've got the nice sheen of the blue yeah. face, Lester. Lovely. So that's a good wool. Um, yeah. And underneath there, talking about snoods, Ooh. you'll hold it, because me and the alpaca. This is pa Guido. Guido. Yes. Um, I don't know whether you remember Cool. A couple of sessions ago when we were dyeing the lavender and blue, uh, so it's soft. on one of our episodes. We'll so hint it very, up there. very soft. This has been designed by a, uh, a local lady who is a good supporter of the shop, uh, Jenny. And Jenny said, oh, I want to do you um, a pattern so we could try and sell the pattern uh, as a kit with the, uh, the lavender and blue yarn. So that's the lavender and blue I dyed with uh, using Guido, the the alpaca, and fun. she's designed a pattern. So interestingly, you've got the narrow stripes with a broad stripe down the centre. On the inside or That's outside, clever, isn't you it? have just four broad stripes, or four or five, I can't, or five. Uh, six. Five, six. but it's done with, th <laughs> is it six? Six. But it's done with uh, a, a, like a fade kit. So I hope I can see the, the fibres already of the al alpaca. So we're going to, uh, it's a fade kit, so it will be a dark denim, medium and a light. Try it's it on, beautiful. Put it, pop it on. So you can see if you get the twist. So really, really thankful for Jenny for designing that for us. So it will be like our wool patch own design. Look at oh. that. Oh, that's nice. It's so soft. Mm. I'm trying to sit over I here know, so I can it doesn't see, get I can the... see the fibres all. That's right. But yeah, <laughs> I'll stop he's, he's off now. But yeah, it's so soft. Clever to get the the big stripes and then the small stripes. Yeah, because when you twist, you're getting a bit of mm. both. But it is so soft. So, so nice. we are over the moon about that, to have our own kind of pattern designed by someone local, comes to the shop. Um, so I've just got to get dying more now. Can I have to just do this over here? <laughs> Fold it back up over here. We will do But there isn't much of Guido left, so I can't, uh, and frustratingly, I can't do any more um, kits with Guido. Yeah, mostly because you just end up coughing your lungs Yeah, indeed. Um, but we have got some fleece from another farmer in Suffolk, uh, so we'll then get that, if the monies are good, we'll then get that spun up into a yarn, and then Lovely. I'll dye that, and then we can have that as a kit. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? But um, it's just great, it's, you know, it's, we keep talking about the talent of people here. This is know. it. And it's like this, once you get chatting to people, you suddenly discover they have all these oh, skills I know. and things. Speaking yeah. of which, can we take us at this? Yes. Beautiful. Knitted by Irene who lives just down the road as well. Irene sometimes comes to the shop and teaches people to knit. Yeah. Uh, she's our sort of teacher. Rowan were great. Thank you, Rowan, for this. This is not an advert, by the way. We're not paying no. for them. But they gave us some free wool because we were, you know, uh, our earlier conversation about how it's nice to have something knitted up. Yep, yeah, so people can picture it. And then go, it. oh, I want to buy that. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> Rowan, rather than them knitting it all up, because that must be harder for them, they yeah. gave us the wool and said, "If do you have someone who can knit this up for you? Isn't I said, that great? Brilliant, because I have got loads of people who will knit. Um, so they gave us the wool. <clears throat> they gave us enough to do the size small. So this is called the uh, Alderman, and the pattern is in the latest, I say the latest, could be whenever you're watching this, yes. Rowan Magazine 66, Alderman. Um, 
and uh, and is it a difficult one to do? It's out of curiosity. I, I, See if would I be able, be able to do it? Uh, you would. It's not too difficult. It's just fiddly. It's yeah. basket weave. So uh, you know, like in patchwork, we talk about blocks that are repeated. Yeah. So you've got a block of stocking stitch and a block of uh, garter stitch. Block of stocking stitch and block of garter stitch. But then you've is got that a your row. Knit pearl? Pardon? Is that your knit pearl? Yeah. Okay. And then you've got a row of brown and a row of blue. But they're just knit. They're like a wobbly line all the way. It's just the way it goes. The illusion it goes. You are just knitting a straight line, but it's the illusion because of how the stitches are pulled through because of, of the tension between a, a, a knit and a purl. But the, the difficulty maybe is with the sewing up. Because you do your row of blue, you then have to cut it off that end to do your row of brown back, cut it off, then do your gray, then another row of blue, cut it off at the end, row of brown. So you have lots of ends. Uh -huh. So when you're matching the two up, you've got all these blue ends and all these brown ends. So it's probably a pain. Well, it is a pain because Irene said it was a pain. <laughs> but full Sorry, credit Irene. to her in getting these. She's done a fantastic job. You know, lines matched up because that's uh, that. You know, you don't have to, uh, yeah. but on certain places she's got them, and it, it's great. And I love the nice neck. I like that. Neck. Yeah, the, the detail neck of the colour on the top. Beautiful. Really, really nice. So it's called Alderman uh, by Georgia Farrell uh, and it's in Rowan Magazine 66. So if you wanted a new pattern, then maybe that will be one. Then buy the book. I would link the book on here to go, but I've sold out of the book. Oh, have you? So you'll, you? Have, to buy it. <laughs> you'll have to buy it from it's somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe on that occasion, either at your local but shop or Amazon. I will do some close ups uh, later that will be over the top, but uh, it's just, just a good beautiful. cut. Really nice. So this was the small size and it only took, um, uh, they recommend six balls of the gray and obviously one ball of the brown and the blue. So that's not too much. Not too bad when it rec uh, retails at 760 so a ball. Even if you're going has, up a size or two, you're only gonna have a few more balls. Mm, yeah, oh yes. Uh, at most you're only gonna have two of the of the blue and the, uh, and the brown to make the stripes. But yeah. 760 a ball using Eight balls. That's not bad. So, yeah, 50. Oh, that's our timer. We've got to be really strict. I said we're going to be really strict. That's it's not okay. bad. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, yeah. Back to what we were, ta I forgot what we were talking about now. Well, just the yes, price Alderman. of it. Yeah. So, the price. So, I think that's reasonable for a beautiful jumper. Yeah. Um, and it's something that you've made. This is what the whole joy of what we do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. something you've made and it's yeah. good for your head and yeah. it's just. Good for the soul, I Indeed. think, yeah. and it makes it unique to you as well because you're going to pick particular colours that somebody else won't and whatever else. So it's rare that you will make a jumper yeah. exactly the same as somebody else. I've just got to finish off my Breton. I've just got to put a few ties on because I'm it's looking like forward you. to. I yeah. actually wore a jumper that's or a jumper, a top very similar yes. to his that so he's I've made. I've got to just do that on my Breton, um, and then I'm starting a new project, which might be actually. Um, uh, a, a hat. You might have seen this by the time so it goes not, out. So not the weird jumper with the rips in it. Oh, I might do that as well. <gasps> yes, that will save that. So that could be our Yeah, our we can show you a picture of that. He might be doing something that's slightly risky. Yeah. Or risque, something a sorry. Mm -hmm. Something a bit different. <laughs> Maybe a bit revealing. I just quite like the, it's the effect of using the drop stitch. Yeah, it is a lovely effect. Yeah. It's just the placement of it could be interesting. Mm. Um, so yes, that will be uh, the cliffhanger to get you to come back and see it, see how it goes. Yeah. God knows what he'll have on show. Yeah. But yes, thanks a million for watching. Indeed, always pleasure. Yep, uh, please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and share the mm. video and all that good jazz. Yep. And leave us a comment down below. We do love the comments. Do indeed, yes, yeah, especially with regard to the Essex Lynn. Much yes, appreciate that. Yeah, or anything else you've seen today. Yes, Cheers. talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.